outstanding. So this, I'm, I'm, you know, happy and grateful now that I was chose to go first because, you know, uh, it doesn't matter if you know the skill set or not. Let, I want to be honest with you all. It doesn't matter if you know the skill set or not. I know individuals that don't know the skill set at all, but they do have some things mentally that put them in a position where they are profitable traders on a daily basis. They don't know every single thing. They know a little bit, right? Even with me, I don't know every single thing in the market. Um, I just know a little bit. Yes, I'm a profitable trader, a very profitable trader, um, but I'm not a, a pro that know all the language, all the uh, exciting and all the different super strategies and all of this, but I do know a few things that can uh, help myself and help so many others be profitable in the market, right? But uh, the main thing I know is mindset because it takes a particular type of thought, action uh, to be able to be profitable on a consistent basis when it comes to the market. Yes, you can mark up the charts all day. Yes, you can get perfect entries, but you can turn around because you wasn't thinking right, give all of that money back. So it's my job today to, <clears throat> to come to you all and just share some things that uh, will help you get past you so that you can get to where you want to go. Is that okay with everybody? Put some dollar signs in the chat, hearts in the chat. I want this to be interactive, right? I want this to be interactive. At the end of the call, I will answer any questions that one may have uh, based on the information that I'm going to go over. So I'm super, 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 super excited. Just give me some energy. I'm going to give y'all big energy. Give me energy. I'm going to give y'all big energy. Good to go. I see the chats going crazy right now. So when I'm going to be going over this, I want every each and every one of you all to know, first and foremost, yes, I am a trader, but I am a network marketer. I've been in network marketing over 10 years. So I need to get that stigma off of me right now. So everybody know, yes, I make a whole bunch of money trading. Yes, I'm a trader, but I was a network marketer and will be a network marketer first. Some people don't call themselves network marketers. Some people call themselves entrepreneurs, bosses, uh, uh, whatever they want to call themselves, right? But yes, I am a network marketing marketer because network marketing saved my life. I was going down the wrong path. If I wasn't introduced to this profession, I'd be dead. So I'm going to get like I always do. I'm going to salute and give props to where props is due to this great profession that helped free a lot of people. Uh, so, but when it comes to trading, it's a mindset, y'all. It's a mindset. So the first thing, the first thing you have to have is all three rules. We always talk about these three rules. You probably heard these three rules over and over again, not just for myself, but multiple different educators that's on this platform. The first thing is you have to be patient. See, there's a lot of people that live in this society today that live in the microwave society. It's crazy because the frequencies of the earth is speeding up. And that's why a lot of things are speeding up. That's why you're getting, you can get information at a lot faster, a lot faster uh, rate than back in the day. See, back in the day, they didn't, they didn't have cell phones. They didn't have the, the iPhone and they didn't have the Androids and they didn't, they didn't have internet. They didn't have any of these things. All they had was house phones, right? <laughs> All they had was house phones. And when you left your house, guess what? They had to wait till you come back home and uh, check the messages or someone wrote it down at one particular time because there was no voicemail at a particular time. There was no answering machines at a particular time, right? But as technology speeds up, information speeds up. As information speeds up, everybody see what someone else has or some, what someone else has done. And then they see in their heart and their desires that they can do it too. And this speeds up because of the internet. But through all in all, you have to be patient with the process. You must, you must, you must. Because if you try to speed up, you will fall in your face. It's like a baby. A baby is born. And as a baby is being born, baby don't just be born and start running. No, baby first had to be carried, right? Had to have got to hold the neck of the baby, right? Then the baby start to roll over. Then the baby start to pick itself up. Then the baby starts to crawl. Then the baby starts to stand up. Then the baby take a few steps. Then the baby starts to walk. Then the baby starts to walk a little bit fast. The baby starts to run. But baby still have to learn how to walk up the steps. So it's different levels to every single thing in life, starting with walking. And it's, if you know that if, if it's uh, different levels to that, it's definitely different levels to trading in the Forex market or whatever else you want to choose to do. So you have to be patient with that process because if you don't be patient with that process, that process will smack you upside the back of your head. So that's the first thing. I hope you got your pens and paper and you're taking notes. I hope you are. Second thing is you have to be disciplined. 
you you must be disciplined there are trading rules there are things that you must follow in life there are rules you can't go to a bank and just jump behind the counter and grab money out of the teller's drawer, right? You can't walk into a store, grab something off the shelf and walk out. You can't just go into McDonald's or Burger King or whatever place, nasty fast food place you may eat and jump over the counter and make your own burger and, and jump out of the drive through window. No, you will go to jail because you did not follow the rules. And if you don't follow the rules in trading, guess what? Your broker account will get locked up every, and charged, literally you will get charged every single time. You will get charged every single time. If you've blown an account in the Forex market because you was not disciplined, you got your account up to a certain point, you start over leveraging and you say to your man, oh, I can make, oh, I got it all the way up. I started off with $20, I got all the way up to 200. Man, I can jump this 200. I know it took me three weeks, four weeks to do it, but I can jump this 200 to 400 because I got more and you, you lost it all. Put some put 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 some put some sevens in the chat if you, you blew your account because you you wasn't disciplined or patient. Y'all see this? So this is for the people that's brand new in trade and they haven't started a real account. I want you to see this, and I want the, you to take this as an example of not what not to do. I might as well put me a seven in there because I've done it before too. Actually, in my first thirty days, my first thirty days, I just I found out how to load up an account and I blew a whole bunch of money. A whole bunch, somebody yearly annual, yearly salary. I blew it. I blew it my first 30 days. I'm so happy and grateful now I didn't quit. But I blew it because I didn't even know the rules. I just knew red and blue. I didn't even know what red, blue is good for. I just the red and blue button. Which one I'm going to push? Up 50%. <laughs> I can win, right? And I end up losing. And it, 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 it popped me upside the head. And I had to sit down in my chair and watch videos to learn the skill set. So you have to be disciplined because if you're not disciplined, your, the discipline will or your disappointments will make you disciplined, point blank, period. The next thing you have is you have to be consistent. Consistent at doing the things, the same thing over and over and over. I know, I know. I know it, it may boring, sound boring to you, right? But how, how much of the same thing do you do at your job? The place of your employment, where you work at, where you have to go in if you still work. Okay, you don't have a job, cool. Do you brush your teeth every day? I hope so. Do you take a shower every day? I hope you're consistent at that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So why don't you be consistent at doing the right things in this market so that your bank account... Y'all understand what I'm saying? See, consistency is one of those things once you can get on a, on, 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 on a, on a path doing that, those same little small things over and over again amount of those small things end up adding up to a big amount of things. Those big amount of things, once they get there, you're gonna look up and you're gonna get so used to it, it's gonna seem like they small. But if you know you can do those same amount of things over and over and over again, you're gonna be too, you're gonna be able to do whatever you choose to do as long as you stay patient, have discipline and be consistent. Now, those are the three rules. Those are the three rules. I only got a small amount of time, right, with you all, a very small amount of time with you all, but uh, those are the three rules. I'll go into depth a little later on, maybe, you know, a month or so from now, but I'm going to go over some more things for you so that this all can come into uh, perspective for you because those three rules are very vital, but I understand that some people just won't do those three rules because they need a little bit more. Why should I do those rules? Or how can I do those rules? How can I get better at following those rules? Because the mental, your mental is very, 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 very powerful. And either you control it or it controls you. So the first thing you have to have is belief. You have to have a belief. Do you believe that you can do it? And if so, how long will you believe? What will knock you off of your belief pedestal? to follow these three rules, right? Some people, it may be a death in the family. You know, some people, it may be a relationship, right? Some people, it may be a family member, friends, coworkers talking crazy, all these people in your ears and talking negative. And you're so focused on what they're saying and just totally forgot about being patient, disciplined and consistent. It just knocks you off. It's just, it's just over with, right? but you have to have so much of a belief that nothing can stop. You have to believe that you can follow those three rules and achieve what you want to achieve as, as much as you believe the sky's blue. 
as much as you believe when your stomach start rumbling, it's time for you to eat. In some cases, go to the bathroom. <laughs> it all depends on what type of rumbling it is, right? You have to have belief. Now, with that belief, if you believe as much as you say you do, then you want to take actions. What actions are you going to take? You're going to take the actions of doing what you need to do. But remember, it always starts off with the mind. So you're going to start off by being patient, disciplined, and consistent. Those are really the actions of it. The pushing the button part and all of that, that's the easy part. Drawing the lines, that's the easy part. 30 minutes, we just we just marked up on our last call. We just marked up 20 charts in 30 minutes. 20 plus charts in 30 minutes. So that marking of the charts, that's the easy part. That's the easy part. But, but if you don't take action and, and you don't follow those three rules, then it's going to be very, very, very hard for you to get out, get what you want out the market. It's going to be very tough for you. Everybody on this call, all hundred of us on this call, we all can be seven figure traders. That's a hundred, that's a hundred million dollars on this call. But do you believe it? Do you believe it? Or are you so tied up in two? Oh, I ain't trying to hit this part. I just show me how to mark up the charts. Well, I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to continue to tell you this. If no one else tells you this, I'm going to tell you this. You can be a master trader. You can know all the strategies. You can know all that stuff. But if you don't have these rules, if you don't have the right mindset, you will be broke in this market. You're not going to get a dime in this market. You're not going to do a withdrawal in this market. You're not going to be able to pay bills from this market. You're going to be a professional. Uh, listen, write this down. I'm so happy and grateful now. I am a professional withdrawer. Withdrawals. That's what you want to do. Be a professional withdrawer, not a professional depositor. Okay. So you have you have your faith, then or your belief, then you have your actions. And through those, your belief and your actions, following those three rules, you will get the results. Now, when you get the results, it's very important. It's very important that you budget what you get out of those results. Okay, do a withdrawal. Some of you all get, you know, make so much money in the market, be showing screenshots of 100, 200, 300, 400, $1,000, but you never do a withdrawal. Do a withdrawal. Do a withdrawal. Get, get you a little 20% out of your, your account you made. You know, you started off with $100, $200, $300 account. You, you rose it to 1000 plus. And take your little money that you put in back, you started off your account with. So if you put in a hundred, you get to a certain amount, take out your hundred, put your hundred back in your pocket. Matter of fact, put 120 back in your pocket. You know, take that 20, get you go get you something to eat or whatever the case may be. But do a withdrawal so you can see how it feels. So you can see that it's real. You know, trading is real, but do you know that you can get money out the market? Do a withdrawal and see that you can get money out the market because that's going to build up on your belief which you're going to do more actions. What are the actions? Following the three rules, following those three rules, then you just, it's going to render more results. So it's going to just continue in a cycle because some people don't understand that life happens in cycles and whatever cycle you are in is either the good cycle that's bringing you up or the other cycle that's bringing you down. You have to make the decision on which cycle you in. I see a whole bunch of people jump here, this team, that team, this, this business, that business, they're in the cycle. Yeah. So if you have, if you on this team, then jump to this team, then go over here, go over here, go over here. You 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 start this business, you go to this business, you go to that business, blah, 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 boom, 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 boom. You're in the cycle. You don't even know it. Well, now you know you're in the cycle because anytime something happens that, that you don't like, you will try to run away and try to find something that that won't happen again. But what you don't know is that's the test. And until you pass that test, you're going to continue to be in that cycle. Or until you change your ways, you're going to continue to be in that cycle. And what I'm trying to do right now 10 push-ups. What I want to do for you right now is, what I want to do for you right now is get you out of that cycle. Get out of that cycle. It's going to be challenges, but with each challenge that you arrive to, if you pass that challenge, guess what? It's just something in that challenge you're supposed to learn so you, you can, can take you and help you get past the next challenge because it will be no matter how much money you make. You will always have a challenge, but Look, check this out. If you're patient, disciplined, and consistent, you can achieve all things. You can go, you can, you can use that for any and every single thing. I love the way everything comes into fruition into one small liquid 
organ between your ears. I love how it, I love, I love how everything comes into the mind. And you, if you, if you really understand and study your thoughts and you control your thoughts, you can get anything that you want. Anything. Anything. And if you're aware of it, oh my God, it's game over. It's like magic. People will call you lucky, a magician. Some people will call you Diablo for my Spanish folks. You know, Diablo is, depending on what they, how they look at you, right? But success, it leaves clues. And in our business, success just don't leave clues. Success is like an open book telling you exactly directions on what to do to gain the success. And I'm telling you, patience, discipline, and consistency. Belief, actions, and results. It's over and over and over again. Now, once you start getting the results, guess what? You always have to keep, you always got to keep the gratitude. Are you grateful? Are you grateful? Are you, even before you get the results, you have to be grateful. Are you even grateful to wake up in the morning? Are you grateful for having your sight? All of your senses. Are you grateful just for the experience? Are you grateful for being here? Jumping on this call at nine o'clock on a Monday night. I got to go to work in the morning. All right, but are you grateful though? Are you taking notes? Are you listening to the information? Are you, are you, listen, that's, it's crazy because we break down words. My mentor got me breaking down. I'm breaking down every, every single words. Look, listen, listen. Cause it's the difference between, it's the difference between hearing and listening. Yeah, you can hear when you take off the H. Y'all heard this before, take off the H E A R. It goes into your ear, right? It got to get into your ear gates to go into your mind. But if you listen, because you can hear anything, it might go in one ear out the other. But if you listen, a list, L I S T, list. It's a list of things, E E N, put to use, put to action. Listen. So are you really listening right now? because I'm giving you a list of things to put to action. You may be hearing me, but are you listening to what I'm telling you right now? I hope y'all got that. I hope, I hope y'all got that. I need y'all to listen. So you have to be grateful. Even the worst times of your life, you have to be grateful. Yes, I had people transition in my life, but I just, I don't even, I, I cry, I'm, I'm sad, but at the same time, I'm grateful for the experience I got to spend with them. I'm grateful for, for the times that we spoke. I'm grateful for the life that they, 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 they experience and all the words, everything they've done. And even if they haven't done the iconic things in life, they, every single thing that a person do on this planet earth cause a ripple effect and someone and somewhere will feel that effect from a small thing that a person does. Like a person that works at Ford dealership that puts a little chip into a car. They're a piece of the bigger picture. And I'm grateful for them. I'm grateful for the garbage man. I'm grateful for the mailman. I'm grateful for the people that work down at the electric company, the internet service, AT&T. You have to be grateful. Uh, it's crazy because, uh, you know, my father was a pastor, but he didn't raise me. Another man raised me. And he used to say, God bless the car. God, God bless you. God bless your shoes. God, he was God bless. God bless the chair. God bless. God bless, man, this dude. He was always happy though. And I, and me realizing, me at this age now, now I'm realizing this dude was grateful. He was great before he even, before he didn't even explain to me these concepts. But coming in a, in a household like that, I understand now because now I'm getting taught something that I didn't know before. So I didn't know what I didn't know. But now that I know, it's even more powerful. You have to be grateful. Now, through being grateful, you will get excited because you got to capture that emotion. You will get excited. Now, this is the problem with being excited because this right here, this, this can get a lot of people in trouble. You can be so excited that you can forget being patient, disciplined, and consistent. <laughs> that excitement can, can and take you the opposite way. But if you remember those things, you use that excitement. It can propel you to the next plateau of your success. Side note, success, progressive realization of a worthy ideal, a progressive realization of a worthy ideal, moving target, okay? You will never be successful because it's always more success that you will want to get, obtain. Seven-figure trading account, $10,000 a month, right? 
Some people make seven figures a year. Some people make seven figures a week. Some people make seven figures a day. Different plateaus. The more you make, the more you're going to want to make. Okay. So, listen, you have to you have to control that excitement. It has to be a controlled excitement. The perfect example I can give for being having uh, control excitement is NBA players. They are excited, like it may be the last minutes of the game. Michael Jordan, LeBron James, even Kobe Bryant, right? Uh, they last minutes of the game. They know they're going to hit it. They're excited about it, but they so they walk on the court so calm and collective. Control and excitement. They take that excitement. They go out, boom, boom, swish. Hit the last when the buzzer go off. Now they let the excitement out. So if you take your excitement, hold your excitement within to perform the actions in which you need to take, you're going to be you're going to win the championship. But you have to learn how to control that excitement within. Sometimes you you are so excited, you blurt out the information and slob and drool and throw up on these people about trading that you, you, you totally destroy the chances of them getting in. But if you can control that excitement, even when you're talking to people about this, they're going to feel the excitement went in and they're going to want to get within trade nation. They're going to feel your energy. They're going to know you're excited. And they're going to want to know so bad, they're they going to be running, banging on the door to come to the event, jump on the Zooms. But you have to have the control and excitement. We might have to, I might do a training on control and excitement. That might be a good one, right? Then ultimately, if you know how to control your excitement, you start seeing the results you're getting from trading. You start getting the results from, you know, growing your organizations. What's, what's going to happen? Then you have to feel the joy and spread the joy. It's love. It's the love. You know, it was a it was a point not too long ago, not too long ago, that I had the control excitement. Uh, but I had the joy. But what stopped my joy, what really stopped my joy was I was very reserved about the people I was gonna give my information to. I was closed, like, nah, you ain't in Sparta, you ain't getting this information. Right, and it was because of past experiences I've had. Right, it's past experiences I had. People will come in and get the information, then they run off acting like they made up the information themselves, take credit for the information, wasn't giving credit where credit was due. Right, acting like they was this smart person that came up, don't don't really don't know nothing, but was acting as this and that. I'm like, I was getting upset, and you know, it was a lot of things that was happening. Right. And I took that with my control and excitement and I shut the door so no one can get in. That was wrong on me because what happened was things started to stop for me, right? But as soon as I just opened it back up, like, hey, whatever, whoever wants the information, hit me up, I got you. Let's do it, let's go. When you need a Zoom done, let's do the Zoom. When I opened that door up, all types of other things start happening for me in my life not just in trade but in my life overall so you have to you have to have love you have to have joy in your heart you know yes you will get criticized somebody put out a post on me talking about me so crazy you know what i did if something if this happened to y'all this is what you do somebody just i don't even i don't even know this person they're like i met this person before i joined the marine corps then after i got out the marine corps all that i saw what he said blah 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 and he said some crazy i'm talking about some crazy stuff it was actually funny i started laughing at him but then you know what i did as soon as i felt myself getting upset i was like something going on with him delete block he need to get right let me put them over there and let me keep back focus on where i am what i need to do because i just got this information from the i believe focus i'm still gonna be full of joy hope that person gets well and we gonna move forth because i don't know what was wrong with them so it may happen to you it may happen to you but stay in love stay in joy stay in gratitude Stay focused, use the keys, patience, discipline, and consistency. You got to get your belief up. 
Your belief is going to give you action. It's going to help you take actions, which gets you the results. But with all of that, none of that will truly work unless you stay committed. You got to be committed. You got to commit. So many people have their foot in and out. And that's why you don't get the results you, you want. Because you ain't really made that decision to commit. 100%. 100%. I'm 100% in. I don't care if Chad Entrepreneur Thompson, Chairman 100, decide to quit. I'm committed. I ain't quitting. I ain't going nowhere. I'm trading. I right, nope. Nope. Because I know what this has done for my, me and my family and so many others. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not doing nothing. I'm doing this. The company is going to have to close down before I leave. Everybody in the company, David and Monitia can leave. I'm going to be right here trading. The company is going to have to shut their doors for me to leave, or they're going to have to do something real crazy to me for me to go anywhere. If I leave, just know it's something really going on. <laughs> but I'm never going to leave. Never. Because I'm that committed. I'm never going to give up on my people. I'm never going to give up on you because I'm that committed. How committed are you? Truly, how committed are you? Because I, I hear a lot of people say, I ain't going nowhere. Thank you. I love you. Uh, man, I'm going to make this thing happen. I ain't never going to go nowhere. Man, we finna make a million. Blah, 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 blah. Then they, you know, they got on their Jesus sandals. And as soon as they kick a brick, they out. They done. Game over. Disappear. Indians Indians came and snatched them and took them to the TP. I don't know. Not the TP in the charts, but the TP. They, they went off, you know, in a hot box smoking whatever the case, whatever they be doing, they just disappear. Y'all done seen this before. It's a lot of people here that's in Trade Nation that wasn't here before. A whole bunch of brand new people. But I remember so many people and I still, still see a whole bunch of people that was here and that was like, man, I love this. I got messages and inboxes from people that left. And I don't get mad at them. I just understand they, they wasn't committed. They wasn't committed. And most of the time, if you're not committed at one thing, that's how you are with all things. You're not, you're just not, you're not committed. You just, that ain't, that ain't your thing. Trading may not be your thing. Anything may not be your thing until you commit to it. It's something in your life that you committed to and you need to take that same energy, find that thing that you committed to it and put it towards this right here as well. So that you can get the results you want because I, like, we got all these people on the call on a Monday night so if you if you want to make seven figures, put some sevens in the chat. If you want to make seven figures, put some seven figures in the chat. And, and if you want to make seven figures out this market, let me be specific. If you want to make seven figures out the four X market, put some sevens in the chat. Okay, it's a whole bunch of sevens here. You need to be committed. You really need to be committed to not just learning these skill sets, but learning yourself, controlling your mind, learning your mind, learning how these things go. You need to get your tickets to the I Believe event. You need to be at the I Believe event. Guess what? You also need to get your tickets to the Pro Trader Live event as well. August 20th and 21st, you need to be there because this is the first event they're going to be going to just straight talk about trading. It's going to be so many educators there that's going to be on the stage. I'm not going to even be speaking. I'm going to be sitting in the crowd with you all taking notes. So if I'm there taking notes and learning, don't you think you should be there? I would agree, right? I would agree. It's the reason that my face isn't on the flyer. Why? Because I'm there to learn. I'm there to learn. And if I'm still learning and I'm a whole bunch of money I done made in the market, why do you think you don't need to be there to learn? You have to follow the leaders. You have to follow the leaders, but in following the leaders, true leaders don't want followers. They want to develop new leaders. And that's what we do. We're developing new leaders. But you have to follow a leader first to develop into a leader because you have to see what the leader is doing so that you can do the same exact thing. That's how simple this thing is. That's how simple this whole world is. That's how simple this whole world is, right? Everybody's talking about, oh, Kobe, Kobe. Everybody love Kobe. Why do you think everybody love Kobe? Because Kobe looked just like Michael Jordan. He played just like Michael Jordan. He copied Michael Jordan to the T as much as possible. And that's why he got the results he got. All you have to do is play copycat, literally. And when people see, when people hear that, they think it's a game. Play copycat, you get the results. 
Play copycat, you get the results. And this week you're gonna be hearing from a ton of individuals that got the results. All you have to do is copy exactly what they say do and you get the results. But if you don't have discipline, patience, consistency, if you don't have belief, if you don't take actions, if you, don't, you ain't gonna get the results. You ain't gonna be grateful. You ain't gonna be excited. He ain't gonna have no love. You gonna turn into a hater. Oh, that thing don't work. It's a scam. Blah 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 in public, but in private. That's how I go. That's how I go. That's just how I go. Bark in public, crying private, because you know you wrong. Not wrong doing somebody else, but wrong for what you did to yourself which you can change right now, right now. So we got 15 minutes. I'm here to answer any questions that you all might have for me. Uh, Sister Carter, if you see any, raise your hands if you have questions. And uh, I wanna pass it back to you, sister. I appreciate y'all time. Make sure protraderlab.com, 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 get your tickets to the event, August 20th and 21st uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, Coca-Cola Roxy Center. Our voice, the voice of our event is actually on the line listening in, sister Zinja Dunn out of Las Vegas. She's the voice of the event. Super excited about the sister traveling down. And uh, of course, we have the MC. We have an MC, uh, Chairman 50, Honey Morgan, and uh, yeah, multiple other ones, uh, leaders and traders that's going to be there. You can follow me on the number one King Bay on Instagram so you can see the details. I'll type into the chat. That's my IG right there. And uh oh, uh oh, I did that. I did that directly to somebody. I'm sorry. Well, you got it directly now. So it's all good. Uh, 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 boom. There y'all go. So I appreciate y'all time. If y'all have any questions, please shoot them away. I'm, I'm definitely here. Sister Carter, the call is yours. All right, family, if you have any questions, go ahead. While we still have time, again, don't cry in the dark. This is your time. Answer, get your questions answered. But in the meanwhile, let's go ahead and drop some fire in the chat for Mr. Bay for that psychology, that mindset that we all need to become profitable in the chart. Hope you guys took notes. All right, if you have any questions, go ahead and raise your hand. Everybody got the uh, opportunity to unmute themselves if you have questions. So if you have a question, just unmute yourself and ask your question. What's going on, family? What's going on? Uh, peace and blessings. Hold on. Real quick, can you explain why it's important for a new person to uh, pick a pair and stick with that pair until they make a certain amount before they uh, venture off to something else? Absolutely. So um, the reason you want to pick one pair in the market, in the Forex market, and just stick with that one pair, because every pair has a different attitude, a different way it moves. Uh, and if you stick with that one pair, you're going to start understanding and seeing the way it moves. You, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to start to be consistent to you. You're going to start to see the movements. It's going to be easy for you to mark up. Oh, it went to this point. Oh, I see what it's doing on Wednesdays. Oh, I see what it's doing on Tuesdays. Oh, I see, excuse me. I see exactly what it's going to do today. It's like being in a relationship. If you're in a relationship with a person, you get to know that person. Your pair is your girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever the case may be. That's who you are in a relationship with. Now you're seeing their actions. Now you're seeing their, when they want to be bothered, when they don't want to be bothered, when the charts move, when the charts don't move, 
Uh, and then once you get to that point, now you can be ready to trade, make as much money on that pair. Once you get to 100000 on that one pair, now you can make a decision if you want to change pairs. More, more than likely, you're not because you're going to be so committed to that pair. You're going to marry that pair. And, and you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring you in the end a, a nice amount of money. And I, I you know, and I, it's not my job to talk about trading, but I'm going to write today, but I'm going to tell y'all, you, some of y'all don't need to get to a million in y'all accounts to live a fantastic life to be able to retire. Because if you made a thousand dollars a day in the market, if you just made a thousand dollars a day in the market, just a thousand, that's five thousand dollars a week, that's twenty thousand dollars a month. Who is okay with twenty thousand dollars a month? So all you have to do is build your account up to about. 15,000, 15,000, 10,000, that's 10% a day. You got your account at 10,000, you can make a thousand dollars a day, that's 10% a day. That's not a lot of pips. That's a little nugget for y'all. Cause you have more time to, you have more time for yourself, for your one pair to study. Don't have to worry about getting up to go to work. You got enough time, more time to do that you make more because you understand it more. You will see more. You have more time to mark up the charts. You have more time to look at the charts. You have more time to trade. <laughs> so hope that answers your question, brother. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Yeah, appreciate you. I have oh, a quick question. <laughs> hey. So hey, this is Monet. How are you? <clears throat> I'm amazing. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, really appreciated everything that you were talking about tonight. I just have a, because I'm relatively new to the organization, um, I want to get your, I guess, advice or suggestion on marketing to, in terms of recruitment efforts to like a really empathetic like environment, right? Just generally, you know, what types of t strategies or tips can you recommend that I can implement to really, it's not about numbers and getting people in the door. It's just kind of like, unfortunately, there's a lot of empathy <laughs> around me and, um, you know, and I want to get over it. I want to get above it. I want to think of smart strategies to be able to overcome this challenge in this area. Um, it's just a demographic, unfortunately. So I just want to be smart about how I'm recruiting and what types of strategies and tips, you know, I should be taking to do that effectively. PS3. That's it's just the basic thing, PS3. But first, before the PS3, you have to get better. See, it, it's amazing because I, I work I work with a lot of people doing three-way calls. And one particular person, we've been doing a lot of three-way calls. We've been doing a lot of three-way calls. And this person is starting to realize the people she's been hanging around or he's been hanging around or they've been hanging around, they haven't, this wasn't the right people because they get attitudes after seeing the information. They get mad. Can you imagine getting mad? If a person is, gets mad at you for sharing the opportunity with them that they can that can ultimately help them become a better person and make a whole bunch of money, you've been hanging around the wrong person for a long time and you finally figured it out. So that's the first thing. You have to get better and realize you're getting better and that video presentations, this opportunity is the tool. This is the tool. This is the tool. And if the people don't, if you, they see the information, they get mad, boom. Now you're using that tool to separate yourself from those people. And ultimately, when you start separating yourself from them, them people, you're gonna attract some other type of people into your life. So it's just following the simple system, PS3. Do you know what the PS3 is? I do not. You've never heard the PS3? I have not. Who enrolled you into the business? Uh, Koya Wilkins, Sharnae Dixon. Okay, who enrolled them into the business? Uh, Curtis Harbin. Okay, so are you on our calls? I just got, Curtis just re recently reached out to me because he saw my activity, so it's relatively new, yes, but I just came out to the DC event, um, so I'm, okay. I'm working on getting on track now. Okay, so in, in the group, in the group, tell Curtis to, matter of fact, tell Curtis to send you the PS3 video. This is how we build organizations. 
the PS3. That's that's okay. the simple way we do it. The system, if we stay consistent at that system, and you wasn't because you just you really just got active, start running, running, right, and start plugging in, Correct. get close to the fire. Okay, so what you want to do is find out that system, and this is for everybody. If you out there speaking and trying to present the information yourself, you're doing yourself a disservice because when a person comes in and you start telling them, and they came in based off of your words, guess what? Is going to duplicate in your organization. They're going to think they have to do the same thing and start spitting out the information. And then by the time third, fourth time it gets out there, it's going to be so watered down. Guess what? Your business is going to stop flowing. Then those people that got in, they're going to quit. Then those people are going to quit. Then those people are going to quit. And then you're going to be the only one left. And it's like, Damn, what happened? I just start all over, or you're going to end up quitting, or you're going to say, well, I just want to trade. I just want to trade now, <laughs> which is okay too, but this 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 platform is absolutely amazing. Follow the system, PS3 system, follow it, follow it. Thank you. Yes, great, 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 great question. And I wasn't just talking to you too, sister, I was talking to everybody, because it's the people on here had that same question. Any other questions? Okay, hey, peace and love, Akil. This is Pharaoh. I just wanted you to touch yeah. on uh, how important it is to stick to one strategy once you find something that works for you. Okay, well, <clears throat> it's like anything else, anything else in life. If it works, the statement is if it works, no need to fix it. Like uh, any strategy or method of trading, excuse me, is not 100%. Well, I'll say it again. No method of trading is 100%. One more time. You need to write this on your paper. No method of trading is 100%. If somebody tell you they 100% at what they do, they lying. They may be 100% for the day. But all times from the first time they did it to now, they ain't 100%. And the problem is people, a trade, they'll be excited about it. They'll win some money and then they'll stop. They'll lose one time and then they'll try to find the next best thing because they think what has been winning them or getting them to that point, they lost one time, they think it don't work no more. Or they may lose twice or they may over leverage and blow their account and then they use that as an excuse to try to look for something else. No, no, no. Stick with one, if it works, stick with one thing. Like it's, ama it's amazing because the home minus scanner, it works. It works. The pivots, it works. Gold Cup works. Every single tool we got on that, on that platform, it works. The problem, the problem is people be taking too many trades over leveraging so it don't work for them because they're not using it correctly. Do you think the platform will have any type of service on the platform that didn't work? Think about that. Do you think our platform would put something on, put some out there for customers to have that doesn't work? Every single thing out there gets you profits in the market. I know individuals that use the harmonic scanner, harmonic scanner alone and made seven figures. They just copy the trades off the harmonic scan. Find you one thing that works, stick with it. It's not going to be 100%, but over a span of time, if you're consistent in using it, if you're disciplined in following the rules, if you're patient, it'll work greatly for you. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I yeah, appreciate you. Great question. Any other questions? I'm here, y'all. I'm here to answer questions. I'm here to answer questions. I've always been here. I just be busy. I have a question. Go ahead, go ahead. So, uh, so when it comes to certain platforms that like, let's say they do Bitcoin mining and they trade your money on your behalf, do you advise people to stay away from that? Like, what do you recommend? Okay, uh, great question, great question. So first things first. first, first things first, if they don't have, if quote unquote, the people that's trading your money don't have a securities license, 
they shouldn't be trading your money. Second thing is, if you have a Bitcoin wallet, no one should have your password because that's your password alone. Bitcoin was designed for the user, for you. Everybody have their private wallet so they can do their own transactions without banking institutions. So if somebody say, I'm a account manager, blah, 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 they're gonna scam you, they're gonna take your money, they're gonna go. And if they don't scam you right then, they're just acquiring a whole bunch of people to get all of that money and then all of a sudden the system and the platform disappears because they got, they hit their goal. So that's the second thing. Third thing is the final thing, why would you want somebody to trade your money when you got a platform that teach you how to trade your own money. That's the third thing. True. Yeah. So I, I get all those, like when I see that people, friend, I got a whole bunch of friend requests. I get them all day long. If I happen to see them, what I do is block. I go to their page, see if I see Bitcoin mining, account manager, Bitcoin, what? And oh, if you if a person mine Bitcoin, they're not looking for people to trade for because they're making their money off all the transactions that happen on the blockchain. You're a Bitcoin miner, but you're trying to get my money. What? No, 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 no. Your machines, your computer is working right now making you money. But that's, that's the power of the internet and our education because most people aren't educated, so they fall for the shenanigans and get their Bitcoin taken. And be like, what happened? I gave them my wallet. I gave them, they're supposed to give me, I gave them a hundred, they're supposed to give me a thousand. I gave them a thousand, they're supposed to give me 10,000. You, you, uh, Fred, in the words of uh, uh, Fred G. Sanford, you big dummy, <laughs> educate yourself. And I, you know, I'm glad y'all here to get into education. So please don't give your passcodes to your Bitcoin wallet to anyone. Oh, there's another one. Got it. Oh, that was a good question. Here's another one. If you don't have a 12 word passcode for your Bitcoin wallet, it's not your wallet. <laughs> it's not your wallet. That's the platform's wallet. And if the platform chooses to shut down, I don't care if it's cash app. <laughs> your money go, your Bitcoin go. Bye bye. Yo, bye bye. Zinger, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I had a coach, Coach Powell in high school. He had a big, dark skinned, husky dude, but his voice was like, bye bye. Bye bye, boy. Get out of my gym. Bye bye. Bye bye, Bitcoin. <laughs> Great question. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for the shenanigans. Use, I want everybody to use their common sense. If, if everybody use their common sense, they won't fall for the nonsense. Use your common sense, y'all. We all grown here. It's harder for book people, book smart people to use common sense. And it's hard for people with common sense to have book smarts. But if you can, if you can balance those two, you're going you gonna to look like a genius. Yeah. Got any other questions, y'all? I'm here, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm here for questions. Y'all got me. I ain't putting no limit on here. Do we got a limit, Sister Carl? No. Any other questions? Awesome call. Uh, Mr. Bay, will they have a larger capacity for tomorrow? I know I'm on time, but for the people that <laughs> were delayed or got kicked out, they weren't able to get back in because it was 100 capacity. Uh, I don't know, but I know it's being recorded, so everyone can watch it at a later time whenever they post those videos. But I don't I don't know. Uh, right, Sister, awesome. Carter, Sister Carter, are they opening? Are they are you are you all raising the limit of individuals that can get on the Zoom, or it's just at the one hundred limit? Is that how it's going to be for this week? Um, I'm not for sure. This is just for today because you know they had a big event in Chicago, <laughs> and so uh, we're really going people really going to start trying to get on. It's going to be a lot of people. Yeah, so a lot of the new people, people got to get on early. On. Yeah, so but I don't know. He may um, use a bigger link tomorrow, but we'll definitely drop it in the chat. So pay attention to the chat. All right. We have any other great question? We have any other questions? I have a question really quickly. Um, mm -hmm. At one point, do you suggest like for your new students coming in that they start to take um, trades 
and their live account outside of the go lives. Once they uh, go through the academy at least three times, the full academy three times, and they won at least seven out of 10 trades in their demo account, and they know exactly what how they won why they won and if the what they lost they know why they lost as well and that's that's my suggestion but everybody not gonna do that <laughs> everybody not gonna do that some people gonna say man i ain't gonna trade this it just don't feel the same how you know how i feel you ain't never trade you ain't even made no money in the real market how you know how i feel that's in your mind that's what you think that's what you assume, but I'm telling you, you jump into a, a real account and you ain't did no demo account. Watch what happened. You gonna you gonna hear my boy. You gonna hear me say this right here. I told you. I told you. Hey, I got a question. Go ahead. All right. So my name Brandon. Uh, Brandon Quarles. I I was um, prospected to be an I'm a I am Academy before, but the person that got me or tried to get me in ended up driving out. And then I met some people out on vacation that was from Chicago named Brianna. And she, you know, prospected me and I'm looking to join this week. But my question is, um, what do you suggest uh, lot sizes for each amount, like from a hundred to a thousand? Like, what would you suggest? Like if I wanted to start out with like 200, what should be my, um, leverage though are you in no not yet but i'm i'm getting in this week okay i say go through the academy first and when you go through the academy it is gonna tell you okay yeah all right appreciate it appreciate you yeah that's a good question because you just was the example some people they answer that question and take the power away from the academy Stop trying to be the academy. Let the academy be the academy. Let the academy teach the people. People are paying for education. That's the reason why most people don't even get a team, right? Because they say, I need to learn everything before I bring somebody in, blah, 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 blah. Why? You pay for education. They pay for education. So if you pay for education, it's not your job to learn everything. It's your job to learn everything and bring people in so they can learn everything or as much as they want to learn. It's not your job to teach unless you want to be an educator, but you got to learn first. You got to trade first to be an educator because now you got to prove yourself profitable and consistent to the company. But by that time, when you educate on the platform, now you're not just educating the people you bring in, you educating the whole company. So you ain't even got time to bring people in. It all works together. It's so beautiful. Y'all, it's so beautiful. Stop overthinking this thing. It's not, it's not that hard. Let, the platform do its job. Just assist the platform to do its job. Promote the platform to do its job. It's the platform. Simple question, simple answer. I don't think the brother got upset when I told him, hey, you got to get in. The academy is going to teach you. Cause say he gonna get started. He probably really excited in that. Cause like, bro, it's gonna teach me all that. Oh yeah, I can't. Yeah, I need to get started. And it's the truth. It's called leverage. The video on leverage, right? Lot sizes, leverage. Y'all, for my people that watch that academy. <laughs> so now, bro, you know, you know about, you know which video you got to watch now. Hey, Akil, uh, this uh, bust. I have a question for you, um, yes, sir. Mr. Bay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, quick question. Um, I was wondering if you could touch on um, the the pinpoint of belief, uh, meaning uh, a lot of us, when we started trading, um, it was exciting at first until we, we got to that point of where it clicked at. And um, I know at one point, and when I was trading, uh I toughed it out, but you know, once it clicked, it's like wow, it's a wonderful feeling once it clicked. So, so um, I guess I could say if you can touch on the point of believing until it until it clicks, I guess I could say. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I went over that right at the beginning, right? I, I want everybody to hear the question. 
Here the question, when it clicks, what's the importance of belief until it clicks? Until it clicks. Well, first you got to be uh, patience, patient, disciplined, and consistent. At what? At what? At believing. Believing in what? Believing that you can achieve anything and learn the information from the academy. Go over the information, right? Consistently, consistently taking action, taking action on the steps it's going to take for you to be or to, for it to click, for it to click, to give you the results. Then you're going to be grateful that you did take that time. You was patient and it took that time, right? You're going to be super grateful. You're going to be super, super, super grateful. And you're going to be excited as well. Then it ain't going to be nothing but love. Cause it ain't gonna it ain't gonna matter if nobody wanna join you. It ain't gonna matter if nobody wanna quit. It ain't gonna matter if nobody talk about you crazy. It ain't gonna it ain't nothing gonna matter. Like y'all don't even understand. Like once you get to a certain point, I want you all to understand. Once you get to a certain point of your life, with or without money, I say it again, with or without money, once you get to a certain point of your life, it don't even matter. No matter what nobody say, because nothing on the outside will affect the inside. So once you once that click, it's game over. Once that click, it's game over. But you you got to go through the process for it to click. Hope that answered your question, brother. Oh yes, sir. I have, I have a question. I was just curious. I know it's different for mm -hmm. lots of people. It's not the same. But I was wondering, how long did it take you to like master the skill completely? I haven't yet. Okay. That's why I still go through my academy. <laughs> I haven't yet. The person that mastered this completely, completely, we'll never know because they are super, super quiet. You will never know who they are. They ain't gonna never tell you they mastered it completely because if you master this market completely, you're gonna rule the world. You're going to be a hundred percent. Yeah. So I'm always a student. I'm always a student. So go through your academy, 30 minutes to an hour and a half a day, every day, seven days a week, 30 minutes to an hour and a half a day, every day, seven days a week. I can get, this is my guarantee to you all. If you go through your academy every day for a whole year, seven days a week, 365 days in a year, shout out to my bro, Rob Venus, 366, I grind. If you go through it every single day, hour and a half in a day, hour and a half a day, you're going to be a lot better off next year at the end of that year than you was at the beginning. I guarantee you. And you go through it, really go through it, not just watching the videos, walking away, having distractions, but going through it, taking notes and applying what you're learning, actually applying what you're learning. I can guarantee you, some people buy this and don't even look at the academy. It's sad. Be honest. Be honest, y'all in the chat. When you when you got your academy the first 30 days, did you actually go through the academy at least five days a week for an hour and a half a day, 30 minutes to an hour and a half a day? Be honest. Nope, nope. I, I might as well put my note in there too. Nope. <laughs> and we pay, we pay for stuff. We so quick just to just put it to the side. All we gonna get to it. But I'm telling you, if you go through it, you're gonna get it. Get what you you gonna get it. It's like if you do anything, if you want to play tennis, you go out there and you play tennis consistently, you're gonna get good at it. You go to the gym consistently, you're gonna get healthy. Your body gonna start changing, right? You eat healthy. You're going to start feeling healthy. Things are going to start changing for you. You go out to the shooting range and start shooting. You're going to get better. Anything that you do over a span of time, you're going to get better at doing it. You're going to get better at doing it. That's why consistency is, is major. Major. I hope that answered your question, sister. Did that answer your question? Yep, it made perfect sense. Okay. Gratitude, gratitude. Got more questions, y'all? Y'all good? Everybody good? 
Good, good, good. So it's 10 15. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump off here. I'm going to give it back to Sister Carter. I appreciate the invite. Make sure that y'all on the rest of, you, rest of this week for all the other individuals that's going to be coming, providing the knowledge to help and assist the academy so that you can get everything that you want out of the Forex market, everything that you desire, everything that you deserve in life when it comes to trading in the Forex, crypto, and options trading so i'm so happy and grateful now that i got this time to spend with you this experience with you this experience with you and um if you need me y'all know how to get with me one king bay on ig and uh let's 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 rock and roll y'all i see y'all at pro trader live uh, event august 20th and 21st atlanta georgia get your vip tickets or your gold tickets either or it's all good with me i'm just be excited to see y'all there sister carter the call is yours All right, family, let's go ahead and drop some seven sevens in the chat for Mr. Akil Bay for his time and his knowledge. Um, meet us back here tomorrow. Be early. Like I said, I'm not for sure if this call will be at 100 percent. I mean, 100 um, participants, but be back on time. We got a, a heavy, heavy hitter coming in. For all you crypto fanatics. All right. So take this time. Like I said, leverage this opportunity. Um, leverage these Zoom calls this week, and we'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Same time, same place. And if the link changes, we will definitely drop it in the chat. So pay attention to the chat. I love y'all. God bless and good night.